Hello, Robert. How are you? Good. Hello, Arely. Hello, teacher. How are you? Hi, thank you. And you? Okay, good. Happy to see you again. How was your weekend? <clears throat> um, relax. Relax. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Three days, right? Yeah. Three day. Three day. Three. And today, did you go to work? Mm, very tired. Very tired. Um, for tomorrow. Ah, okay, that's good. Tomorrow, tom tomorrow you work all day. You work in a, you work from your house. You do home office or you go to the office. Or you you work from your house. No, in my you, office. Ah, you have to go to the office. Yes. yes. In San Salvador. Yes. And you live? Um, Zaragoza. 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 Yes, you yes. told me the other day. Yeah, without mm -hmm. traffic. The traffic is heavy sometimes. No, no. Not these days. No. Okay. Thank God. All right. Okay. And the others probably took more vacation. In December. In December you have vacations. Yes. Um, uh, three weekends, the month. Three weeks. Three weeks. Wow. So that's twenty. No, no, no. Twenty-one days. Sorry. Twenty-one days. No. Um, two weeks. Uh huh. Um, a partir. How from 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 um the three weeks ah, okay from the third week the yes. third the third week i have 12 days okay so you go let's say uh let me see the third week of december is one two three the 20th yes so then you have the 20 up to the fourth of january Okay, just you have like seven, 14, no, 15 days. It's good. It's good. Yeah. Okay, at least you have some some time to 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 relax, right? Yes. Okay, good. Well, we're going to, while the others come in, I'm going to play the... the last video that we watch. Okay, in this lesson, participants will read an article about jobs in order to practice their reading comprehension, right? Remember, this one is for reading, but I want you to listen this. Time expressions. Okay.
Good evening. Hello, good evening. Sorry. <ríe> Me agarró un poquito la tarde, no encontraba el código de la clase. No problem. <ríe> It's, it's okay, Benji. We're having, we're fixing some technical issues here for the moment. No problem. Okay. Okay. okay let me. Because you need to listen. Oh, okay. Okay. Ah, this is a this is a review. Okay. This is just for you to remember where we were last week. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m., and I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ron? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow. That's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. Okay. So then we have that Rodney is a chef. He gets up at 9 a.m. He gets home at 11 p.m., remember? He goes to bed at 1 a.m. Uh, Tina is uh, an office manager. She gets up at 7 a.m. She gets home at 6 p.m. She goes to bed at midnight. Ellen is a flight attendant. And uh, she gets up before 5 a.m. So she gets home at 9 and she goes to bed at 10. So this is what a daily, a daily routine. Okay, so this is a daily routine that you can uh, start. For example, you can see in your in the chat. For example, I get up at let's say uh, four thirty, no four forty-five a.m. Okay, then I get up. I take a, take take a shower and get dressed and get dressed. I live I live home at. Let's see, at 5.30 a.m. And I start, and I start to work at, uh, let's see, at 7 a.m. Okay, so if you see that is something like a, a routine, right? That you do in the morning first, you get up, then you take a shower, then get dressed, leave home. Oh, well, if you have breakfast, then I start to work at 7 a.m. I take a break at 9 
am and I have breakfast. Okay. Okay, copy copy that part and then continue with uh, with more activities that you do after 9 a.m., right? For example, you can say at 10, I have a meeting with my boss. At 11, I make some phone calls. At noon, at noon, I, I have lunch. At one, I go back to work. Okay, continue the rest of the activities with your, with your own activities, with your personal activities. Mm -hmm. In, you can invent, right? It doesn't have to be true. Okay. When you finish work, I will give you five minutes, all right? Five minutes to finish as many sentences as you can. Um, yes, in my, in my work at mm -hmm. yes, uh, 10, 10 a.m. Bring a report. Okay, then uh, you can write at 10 a.m. I print a report. A report. Mm -hmm. At 10 a.m. I print out a report. You can write at 10 a.m. I print out report okay thing again I bring out a report bring out uh -huh. es como imprimir porque va out mm, because you it's a it's a compound verb it's un verbo compuesto in English mm. that you say out mm -hmm. For is command eh, para afuera. Ajá, uh -huh, yes. Se, prende, se imprime hacia afuera. Yes. Good evening. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm late. Hello, Lorena. Hi, how are you, teacher? You wanted to continue with the vacation. Okay, good. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I'm late. No, I, 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 ¿qué? ¿Cómo se dice? Uh, I, I was, stayed with uh, my kids. Okay, I was take you were taking care of the kids. Yes. Yes, uh, it's okay. That's the word. Mo mother's stuff. Mother's stuff. Yes, but I'm ready now. Okay, look in the chat. Uh, I have written some, uh, like a routine, right? Is, for example, this is what we usually do during one day. That we are okay. using at the times. For example, I get up at 5.45 a.m. I take a shower. I get dressed. I leave home at 5.30 a.m. I start to work at 7. Uh, I take a break at 9 a.m. And I have breakfast. Then uh, Benjamin says, at 10 a.m. I print out a report. And then you can continue after 10 with your activities that you can invent of things that you do during the day, right? Okay. All right. At 10 a.m., I um, take a break of my work and take um, 
um, a what? A coffee break. Uh -huh. Then at 10 a.m. I have my coffee break. Yes, I at 10 Okay, uh -huh. yes, I really okay. informer is report. Okay, okay. Uh, that's the one. Yes, I make a report or make the report for my boss at 11 a.m. Hmm. Yes. Hey, boss, boss. boss hey, hey. Double, yes, boss. Okay. Double S. Mm -hmm. That's the chief. Okay, ah, okay, okay. Chief. Uh -huh. Elmer Homero. Ah, uh, boss. Elmer Homero. Elmer Homero. <laughs> Elmer Homero. Y mediodía, sí, no sé cómo se dice en inglés. Yeah. Yes, yes, you know. At noon, remember? At noon, I take my breakfast. My, my, I'm sorry, my lunch. My that, lunch. That is brunch. No, oh. my lunch. <laughs> you know the brunch, right? Yes. Okay. At, at no, 11. Breakfast plus lunch. Lunch. Uh -huh. Lunch, yes. Is that... con la lengua trabada hoy, <laughs> I can see that. It's from uh, 10.30 to 11 is brunch. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sometimes some, sometimes it's good to have brunch. Um, uh, teacher, lunch. Um, is um como se dice deletrearlo spell 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 please spell lunch l u n c h ah. l u n c h thank you okay Midday, oh. midday, what mean mediodía, sí, verdad? Ah, midday. Mm -hmm. Midday, midday. Midday. Mm -hmm. uh, at midday. Yep. Is correct? At midday. Yes. Okay. At midday. Okay. What other activities do we do? On the weekend, we no, make... No, no, only, only in the week. First, first on the week. Ah, okay. That we have, for example, after mm. a, you make the report after, for your boss, you print out the report for the boss. After at noon, 2 p.m. you have lunch. Uh -huh. I take my second coffee break. Lorena has only reports the, the break in the morning and the break in the afternoon. Okay, she hasn't said anything about work, only, only the breaks, <laughs> only the coffee breaks. It's good. Okay, yes, that's true. Okay, after two, then you have the second break, uh, coffee break. Okay. Yeah, they have your, your sweet bread, samitita, right? In coffee. No, no, no. 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 I can't. Teacher. There I we go. Can. There we go. Yeah, Benjamin. Uh, Lorena is a coffee pot girl. <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah, she, she has one next to, to next to her desk. <laughs> a coffee pot. Okay, good. I have oh. a personal coffee cafeteria. And your personal uh, co uh, coffee maker. Coffee maker. Coffee maker. That's true. Okay, sounds good. That's good. That's good. Uh, Robert and Romeo, anything that you can share? What you do during the day? Some activities that you perform? Uh, I don't know. Good, yes, good yes, evening, sir. teacher. Hello, Romeo. Hello. I listen. Okay. And activities that you do during the day in your daily routines, you know, those things that you repeat and repeat every day. Uh, I get up uh, I get up at six 
six I am. Okay. Uh, then I take a shower, I brush my teeth. Teeth? Okay. Dentist? Yes, my teeth. Uh -huh. uh, I take no uh, I start to work at seven o'clock. All right. All right. Uh, my uh, uh, breakfast. I have breakfast. Uh, seven four uh, twenty seven mm -hmm. a.m. Uh, I I drive or I going to visit the hospital nationality every day. National hospital. National hospital. Every, every day. day. I drive every day. Okay. That's... I don't have time to leave. You don't have time to leave? Yes. Ah, okay, to, to, to stop working. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. You start my lunch. Uh, uh, what? You start to work at seven, but you never know when you're going to stop. Hey, yes. Okay, that's so, terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but happens. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. And my lunch at uh, 12 o'clock or 1 p.m. Okay. All right. Thank you, Romeo. Thank you for your routine. Great. Okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. Thanks. Hi. Hi, Robert. Hi, everyone. No. Uh, sorry, I, I have a problem with my. Uh, uh, headphone. Okay, no problem. Um, uh, my sentence is I come to my home at 6 p.m. Okay. For example, uh, I take my uh, dinner uh, at uh, 7 p.m. and I go to my bed uh, at 11 p.m. 11 p.m. Okay, good. Lorena, what are you, those things you do on the weekend? What's your routine? On the weekend? Uh, the routine, okay, um, the routine, the repetitive things. I get up at between 5 and 6 a.m. because I got Weekends. to work with my dog. Yes, ah, okay. because I got to work with my dog. Oh, that's yes. That's, that's, that's. After that, I'm at 8 p.m. I start to make the breakfast for my family. After that, I take a shower and then uh, I take a break. Okay. I watch television, maybe a movie. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, around 10 a.m. Uh, with my husband, we do all tasks of the, for the home. For example, uh, clean yeah, the, the house clean. chores. The house chores. That, that's the correct word. Mm -hmm. We clean the house and uh, then we cook together the lunch and then we take a, a long coffee break <laughs> all the afternoon break. Uh -huh. yes all the afternoon uh, we play with with our kids and um, we make the the pajamas party and we prepare everything so okay. we we go to the um, to the market and shop some. Um, uh, how do you say? Chips is the uh, potato chips. Snacks. 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 And uh, some soda. And then we we see a movie together. 
Very nice, very nice. Nice, nice weekend. Okay, very relaxed and with a lot of activities. Okay. Okay, good. How about you, Arely? Anything that you want to share more about the routines that you do on the weekend, during the week? Okay. Um, I get up at 5.30 a.m. Then I take a shower at 6 a.m. Next, okay. uh, then um, I go to my work at uh, 6 30 a.m. Uh, for, um, how do you say, for la mañana? In the morning. In the morning. In the morning, I introduce uh, a content entries uh, all morning all morning yes okay um i take my lunch and at at noon uh, for afternoon uh, i bring out report from my, for my boss mm -hmm. uh, uh, I go to my house, my home at 5 p.m. Next, um, I cook my dinner uh, for my brother and I. For my brother, uh, teacher. Para yes. Mi hermano y yo. Yes. yes. No. Yes. yes. Correct. Okay, okay. Next, I watch TV. Mm -hmm. I see, I see uh, notices. The news, I watch the news. I watch the news, okay. Um, I sleep at 11 p.m. Okay. Only. All right, only that. <laughs> okay. Ali, do you work in Saturdays until afternoon? No. Only work and week days. Ah, I it's think it. you you work in the afternoon uh, on you, Saturday. You, you work in the morning, right? Uh, on Saturday mornings, uh, Lorena. Um, right now, no, mm -hmm. not uh, the next Saturday. Mm -hmm. I will I will start. Oh, really? To work in the morning. <laughs> Oh my God, welcome to the reality. Anyway. Thank you. <laughs> okay, good. Um, Benjamin? Hi. <laughs> still there? Oh, still. I thought you were sleeping. Um, I sleep in... Uh, before, 11. Be before the class, you sleep before the class. No, no. <laughs> um, at uh, 11 p.m.? 11 p.m. Oh, midnight. Wow. What time do you get up? Yes. Um, I get up 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock, okay. Nice. 7 o'clock, si se puede. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Enough time to sleep. Yes, a lot. <laughs> seven hours. Yes, it's good. Seven or eight hours is good. Almost eight. Mm -hmm. Well, if you when you go to bed at eleven, then you sleep eight hours, and when you go at twelve, yes. seven hours. It's a good time. It's a good time. But I think uh, the earlier you sleep, is better because if you sleep from ten to Seven is good. Eleven is good, but at twelve, then it's, you don't rest the same. I think there is there is a difference. I don't know exactly. Psychologists know about it. Maybe Lorena. Also, you need at least eight hours. Mm -hmm. At L least. Lorena, are you eight a psychologist? No. No. <laughs> no. 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 I'm not. But you work in human resources, what you said, right? 
Ah, yes, yes. Uh -huh. yes. Uh, managing, managing, labor management, manage. labor. Labor management, right? Labor yes. Labor management. Labor okay. Management. Okay, good. What else do you have, Benjamin? Anything else that you want to share? Excuse me? What else? What more? More activities? Okay. What more? What more? Um, I get up at 7 o'clock. Okay. Um, I shower. I take a shower. I take a shower at 7.30. Okay. A.M. Mm. Um, I, I go to work. I go to work? I go to work at... 80 80 a.m. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Um, at 11 e, I bring out report. I take a a lunch midday. Mm -hmm. You said you work. You work at Realize. You said, right? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. And then, uh, and you sell products. You sell televisions and that stuff there. I mean, in the company. What do I they do? What? I need some tablet. Uh -huh. What do they do? What do they do in Realize? What do they do? Mm -hmm. They sell products. Then the productos, right? Like yes, uh, yes. electronics? Yes, 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 electronic. Computers, uh, tablets. Jewelry, ja, ja really, ja really, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Jewelry, jewelry. Jo mm -hmm. Jewelry, yes. yes. Um, um, the artículos de kitchen, no sé cómo uh -huh. se Kitchen, yes. Uh -huh. like, so like, for example, the uh, utensils for the kitchen, for the kitchen, utensils yes. for the kitchen. You have casseroles, um, frying pans, frying pans, yeah. yes, pots. Yes. Okay. All, all, de todo un poco. <laughs> a, a, little, a little bit of everything. A, bit. a bit yes. of everything. Okay, good. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay. All right, people. So then this is, you know, talking about the daily routines. This was the topic here about these people. They were talking about, you know, daily schedules, daily routines, things they do every day, right? Um, the next one is the, a reading comprehension for a specific information about uh, jobs. Hey, sir. Yes, sir. Um, the example exercise, um, Oh, of early. Get up early. I get up early. I get up early. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. My my, my question is um, is um is a good idea idea uh, watch idea watching TV um in English uh, with soup. English. Ah, with uh, subtitles. 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 In English or Spanish? No, in English. Ah, those are captions. So it's good or...? Mm -hmm. When you have the, the movie in English and the, and the letters in English, those are captions. Okay? For pronunciation. Yes. Because okay. if you... It's good. Uh -huh. Yes, it's, it's good. good. Okay. It's good because uh, it's like if you are reading a book in YouTube. In YouTube, you can find uh, audio books. The book uh, you see the book, and they are reading the book in English. So then oh. you can practice the the pronunciation. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. no, it's a, it's a good idea. Yes, uh, listen with uh, captions, not subtitles, because the subtitles are 
the movie is in English and the subtitles in Spanish. Then it's not good. But if you have the movie in English and the captions in English, in English, it's good. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, if you have Netflix in your house, you can. I mean, you can, you can put the English English. Sometimes they have the captions. Oh. Mm -hmm. And you can practice. Okay. Okay. Good. So let's see. We have the why you need a job. Why do you need a job? Why do you need a job? Thank you. <laughs> why do you need a job? Because we have a budget and because... we need to save money. We spend, spend money for different activities mm -hmm. like um, funny, get funny with family. Okay. Maybe buy some things for the house or personal things, clothes, mm -hmm. shoes. Okay. Go to the beauty salon. <laughs> Definitely. Say we have a budget. Uh -huh. This is one of the things, right? Uh, we need to cover ba basic needs, right? Also. Okay, and for example, in, in those needs, you have, for example, Take your children to the doctor, pay the school, clothes, food, uh, probably some some fun activities, you know, like going to the movies, taking them to the park, a vacation. Uh, what else? You need to pay the electricity bill. Okay, you need to pay the water bill. Uh, what else? School. The food, school. Uh -huh. the school. So all these things, you know, if you if we don't have a job, we don't live, right? So we can we can cover many of those uh, needs. Now let's see here. Look at the reading. It says, "Why do why do you need a job?" It's scan kind of the profiles. Who is in high school? who is in college, and who is a new parent. Okay, um, Lorena, you're going to read about Teresa. Uh, Arely, you're going to read about Caring Thomas. And Romeo, you are going to read about Lamar. Okay? Okay. Good. Let's, let's begin to Teresa. For the Teresa Glass. I don't have time to work, but I need a job because college is very expensive. I study art. I have class all day on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and on Tuesday and Thursday morning. I usually study on weekends. I don't have any experience, but I can learn quickly. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Karen Thomas. Karen Thomas. My husband and I have a new baby. <coughs> he makes a good salary, but we don't sell very much money. We want to save some money to buy a house. I take care of the baby, so I need a job I can do at home. I know who to type, and I have a computer. Okay, very good. Romeo? I, <clears throat> I, seven, 17? 16. Pardon, 16 now. And I go, I don't get an allowance. Allowance. Allowance from my parents anymore. I need to earn some money because, be, because I like to go out. On the weekend with my friends, I go to school every day from 9 a.m. to 3 
40 p.m. My father own, own a restaurant, so I know a little about restaurant work. Okay. Questions about vocabulary in all the articles? Allowance. It's Allowance. The, the money that some parents, not all the parents, <clears throat> Give their children for a week, for two weeks, or for Como a la month. Mesada. Uh huh. Or for a month, exactly. Teacher. Yes. What is quickly or weekly? Quick. Or quickly. Quickly. Quickly is Con rapid. rapid. Uh huh. Rapidly. Okay. Ah, okay. I can learn quickly. Okay. Quickly. Quickly. Fast. Okay. Okay. Yes. Fast. Quickly. Yes. Okay. Cuando le dice a su jefe, quickly, jefe, vamos. Mm -hmm. ah, there is another one, is uh, hurry up. Okay, no hurry pay. up. Yes. También quickly. <laughs> okay. You say hurry up, quickly. Okay, what else? Any more? Any more? Any more? Any more. Any more, it means no more. Okay. For example, um, Lamento. Uh, this is when something stops happening and it won't happen anymore. For example, let me see um, something. Let me think about an activity or when you work in an office and they fire you, lo despiden. Then you say, I don't work in that place anymore. Okay. Or when you don't like the service, in a restaurant, you say, I don't come back to this place anymore. Okay, I will not come back. Como nunca más. Uh huh, no más, okay. No más. Parents no más. anymore, yes. Uh, I, uh, to air, I need to air. Mm -hmm. Ganar, como... Uh, earn, yes, is earn a salary. Earn ah. a salary. For example, you have a salary in this moment, but you don't win the salary. Okay, win. What is... Because win, win is when you win a competition. And money is earned. Earn when you work. You can win money in the lottery. Okay, if you buy the lottery, then you win money. Mm. Okay? But if you work, you don't win money. You earn money. Money, okay. Okay, so it's different. You and the, can uh, the, use it like, like uh, how much did you earn last month, for example? Uh -huh. Or how much did you earn last year? In the United States, for example, they offer, uh, they say 36000 a year. 48,000 a year. Okay, here in El Salvador probably is, depending on the salary, it can be 12,000 a year, can be uh, probably 6,000 a year, 8,000 a year, okay. The minimum salary, what is the, the minimum salary? 300? 300. Five. 300? Five. Five, okay, Dollars. so suppose you say I earn the, the minimum salary. Okay, so that means that my salary is, last month I earned $305, okay? okay. And yes? Uh, what is? Uh, allowance. Allowance. Is the money that you uh, that a child uh, receive in one month from his parents. For example, uh, I give my son uh, forty dollars, forty dollars a month. Okay, for for the photocopies, for uh, what else? For some uh, probably some pupusas or something. Uh, forty dollars a month, no more. Okay. So he receives that's his salary from me, from the father to the son. Okay. What else? Uh, my father owns 
o w n s owns uh -huh. is the owner he has my father has a restaurant dueño. has a uh, no this is the action dueño. Ah, sí. no no action. this is the action Socio. this is the action uh, the owner is this no, es el dueño. Dueño. yes but a uh, owner Owns. And mm -hmm. owns is poseer, tener. Oh, okay. Okay, when you say owner, it's the proprietary. Uh -huh. It's the same, right? But one is the action and the other one is the noun. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yes. Once. Because if you say, for example, okay. I, I, owner, so, I own a house, it's not correct. You say, I own a house. But if you say, I am the owner of the house. Is ac um, action. Uh -huh, exactly. Action and noun. Mm -hmm. Okay. Owns. Okay, what else? Two, two. To type, um, mm. to type. What is to type? Where is I that? I know how to type. Ah, I know how to type. Write in the computer or in the typewriter. Okay. For example, the. Very fast. Um, it depends. Probably at least not to see the letters. Okay, but there are some people that have more speed. Some people are faster than others. For example, how many words can you type in the computer per minute? Lorena? Okay, I use it to type. I don't one, know. Uh, 100? Uh, maybe. maybe, I'm not so bad. <laughs> okay, good. Arely, you're an accountant, right? Yes. Okay, you are very fast with the numbers very in, the com fast. in the computer, very right? Fast. You yes. can see the accountants, for example, they type very fast numbers. Um, I study in university. Um, how do you say licenciatura? The BA. 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 In, um, an administrator. Business administrator. Yes, business administrator. Okay. Uh, um, but I work the contact. As an accountant. As, a con uh -huh. As, As an, an accountant. Account. Okay, good. Yes, you know, for example, accountants are very fast typing numbers. Okay. You say I type. What else? Let's see now. Let's try to answer the questions here. It says, for example, eh, Teresa needs a job too. What option would you choose? Earn money for Earn college? Money for college. Save money or buy a house? The first one? Yes, the first one for money. Earn money for college. And Carrie needs a job too. To buy a house. To buy a house. And Lamar needs a job to. Go out. Go out. Go out on the weekend. weekend. Go out on the weekend. Boys, huh? Imagine these are different, oh, different priori priorities. Okay, different interests. Ooh, we have a mistake. And in which one? Uh, save money. One. Save money. Save money. Yes. Save money. But they talk about the two uh, about two options. Okay, I have a good money. We don't save very much money. We want to save money, uh -huh. to buy a house. Yes. Save the money to buy the house. The purpose 
is to buy a house. Buy a house. You are right. Now it's better. Okay. There we go. Okay. Good. Then let's see the next one. Okay, this is the end of the section two. Now we're going to begin section three. And on Friday, we are going to check the midterm exam. Okay, you have to, you will have to finish the exam. Uh, probably mon on mon uh, Saturday, and on Saturday maybe, right? Saturday, if you can do it this week, no problem. And then we can check on Friday the midterm exam. Okay, in the unit three or the lesson three, we have in this lesson participants will listen to a conversation about demonstratives while shopping. While shopping. Okay. Look at this, they are perfect for you. They are perfect for you. Hi, we're now in section three. What is your neighborhood like? Please pay attention and try to understand the audio as much as possible. Remember, you may access to this conversation as many times as needed. I recommend for you to take notes while you are listening. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about demonstratives while shopping. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Okay, now you're familiarized now. Hi, we're now in section three. What is your neighborhood like? Please pay attention, but now pay attention and try to understand the audio as much as possible. Remember, you may access to this conversation as many times as needed. I recommend for you to take notes while you are listening. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about demonstratives while shopping. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Okay, check. They say, look at those earrings, right? They're using demonstrative pronouns. Those is plural in distance. You have this, that, and those, right? And in this case, they are using those. And also they say, re earrings, Maria, they're perfect for you. These red ones, what is ones in this case? Ones is substituting what? Earrings. Earrings. Okay, and then probably in, a, in a Spanish we'll say these red ones, estos rojos. Right? So probably once it, you say, for example, estos rojos, uh, you're referring to the earrings, probably you will not need to translate it into Spanish, right? In some cases, yes. For example, I'm not sure, uh, say, in this case, the yellow ones. Uh, remember that the adjectives, in this case, yellow is an adjective, the color. And ones is telling you that this is a plural. And then we say, for example, no, los amarelos, right? No, the yellow ones. And then you're referring, ones is referring to the yes. earrings, okay? So if you see, it's connected uh, always when we use uh, 
a pronoun is because before we used the noun, we have a reference. Okay, in this case, if I tell you, for example, a, a, if I say, for example, a, Areli, show them to me. Show them to me. Mm. Then, then you say, for example, what? Diego, muéstremelas. They say, what? Okay, then no, no sense for you. But if I say, for example, eh, Areli, did you wash your hands? Mm. Did you wash your hands? Yes or no? Uh, okay. Okay, no, before. Okay. Did you wash your hands? Yes or no? Oh, okay. Did you wash? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, yes. Now, yes. show them to me. Show them. Show me your hands. Show them to me. Okay, when I say them, I am referring to your hands. Okay, te lo muestras, right? But you ah, know, okay. you know, ah, you mean the hands, okay. So you say, show me, show them to me, okay? To them, the them, muestras. Show them, them. Show them. Okay, then you say, for example, this is when you, you talk about something like this. Okay, uh, suppose that you have uh, three, Three paints, okay, three paints, tres pinturas in your house, okay, and I say, I like, I like that paint, me gusta la pintura, and they say, which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Yes. Okay, the one in the middle, the one on the left, the one on the right, okay, then you are using once okay this is just for give you some example but for you to have an idea and then it says mm, yellow isn't really a good color for me well that necklace isn't bad which one and this one is what the earrings no necklace the necklace now is the necklace necklace, necklace. and how the necklace is singular singular and now we have a new a new reference the new reference now is the necklace. Ah, that blue one. Blue one is? Necklace. The necklace. Right there. How right. much is it? The it is? Necklace. The necklace. Uh -huh, exactly. See how many we are using it, right? The, the different, why, why sometimes is this a little difficult in Spanish? In English is because we don't use it in Spanish, right? Because in Spanish, we only say, cuánto cuesta? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We don't use cuánto cuesta it, okay? Or cuánto cuesta lo, I don't know. So then we just say, how much is it? Then in English, yes, how much is it? That's the difference. Okay, that's expensive. Let me, then let me get it for you. Get it now again, is the necklace. It's your birthday present. Okay, the necklace is your birthday present. See, you only mention necklace one time and after you use one, one, it, eh, it, it, and it. Okay, now read this conversation for tomorrow. Check it, eh, the, the word one, eh, yellow ones, it, and this. And tomorrow we're going to practice and play and play again with how much okay so have a good night teacher yes sir wait it's your birthday breath wait, wait 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 a minute just uh... <laughs> can you add me to the uh, group in whatsapp ah, okay then wait a minute wait a minute if you need that i can't what i can do in this moment is give me a second I can give you the link. You just click on it, and then you will be part of the group. Uh, okay. Link, uh, yes, it's in the email. It's in the email, but I give it to you right now. Here, don't worry. Ah, okay. I. I, I... Yes.
if you can I mean what no what? I can't but you just uh, what you can do okay. is uh, here's the link Okay. okay. Roberto, okay, are you, you still in the in the past uh, WhatsApp group? Because I can add add you at the new, or at least well, send you the link too. Okay, but do you, do you see the chat? Can okay. you see the chat now? Well, click on that link, okay. and it will ask you to or copy the link. And then you, well, you people, I have to go to bed. Yes. So okay, good everybody. Night. So good night. night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. You got it, Roberto? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Thanks. Okay. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.